What's up guys? Yesterday we saw the first day of the biggest Rocket League LAN ever. Top teams from all across the globe, 2 million dollar prize pool and an exciting format so the hype couldn't be any bigger, right? Well something seems off with this mega event as it only averages 7k viewers. In this video we're gonna find out why the tournament is struggling to get recognition. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, first of all we're gonna go over the positives of this tournament and obviously it's not only the gameplay but also the production value that is through the roof. Let's check out a little bit of the opening ceremony here so you get a feel for what I'm talking about. Like, look at this. It's insane. RLCS didn't have this. A whole freaking galaxy, bro. Because why not? insane amount of production value there and i already can hint you something because did you hear anything from the crowd because i didn't and it's gonna be a negative point i have later on we gotta check out the bracket here for a second because the format makes this so unique so if you didn't know it they play best of fives in the group the first game is a 3v3 then the loser gets to choose between 2v2 and 1v1 and then there's another 3v3 and afterwards they play the other mode that they didn't have in game two this brings us to some exciting matches you can see it here for example g2 lost against luminosity in the 3v3 then g2 gets to choose since they lost what they want to play next 1v1 or 2v2 they chose 2v2 they played chicago and atomic versus tox and ltk atomic and they lost as well then there's another 3v3 again which they won this time and then there's the other mode coming that they didn't have in game two which is then a 1v1 and they played miss versus atomic atomic took it four and two in the end and that's how this tournament is played out now and we have some highlights from the one here that i want to go over real quick so this is all mid gladiators all that's a pass oh my goodness all mid could that's win it here net. they missed. don't oh, no. then osm oh, no. takes madison in his own hands dribble pass lct goal? finishes oh, they win and we had our first oh, upset oh, of the tournament there's still time there's still time it's fine it's fine if you're all so there was one highlight of the day and then we have a little fail in the production because we see a great goal okay. the replay is kind of interesting to say the offense. least Hope found the field a few times, but so Razir's is peeking here now, like touch. bang crossbar in and now what are we looking at the corner, gets another I mean Razir's obviously a handsome guy but uh I understand Bro, why they the goal was insane. Show me the goal. <laughs> that was really not it. So the next one I have is Rogue vs. Secret. And it's a 1v1 of Taroko versus Knight. Taroko is already leading 5-0 with only 2 minutes into the game. And well, then also, he hits you know, being the this one. Check it out. That we had for a long time. I feel like he has picked up a lot of those one's tendencies and he's been able to execute it so well, which is why you see kind of reset on every play that he bang. has. This one right Phenomenal here. goal, 6 and 0. Oh. And I really like this part about the tournament that we get to see 1v1s and 2v2s. And by the time this video comes out, there is an exciting match coming up. Falcons vs. Dignitas did 2v2s and 1v1s. I hope there's going to be a 1v1. It's going to be probably the best of the whole tournament. So I'm excited to see that. We have something that was positive about the production you can see it here sometimes they have those little windows and a match can be a little bit dry when it comes to excitement in between when there's not a lot happening and then they have this little window that shows something else sometimes they have the controller sometimes they just have the players um it's pretty cool in my Don't opinion the better kickoff strategy in the last score right this time and we get to see this position. goal oh, by Achilles. I mean, the goal is cool as it as it is. I mean, the goal is cool as it is. But this little window and it gets bigger. I mean, we didn't see the end of the goal there again. But um, it's a kind of cool feature. And this is the crowd, by the way. So uh, let's pause it right here. There's almost no empty seats. A little bit maybe here, but but it's a whole lot different than London, for example, where everyone is just standing there and rooting for the teams. And here they are, very calm, sitting there, watching, applauding when something good happens, and that's about it. So the hype in this stadium isn't that big. We're gonna dive into that a little bit later because it's one of the negatives, in my opinion. But first, we need to check this out. 
world because f16 with ruvas played face and first killer and they got it into a place where they had to 1v1 because it got to game four and they chose first killer versus ruvas and it was an omega clap by f16 check out this goal by ruvas Defending Roas from being able to force that ball out. Let's see what Roas can do. He oh, just he can shits on him. Nice uh, look at this. First killer having to come out. How naughty is that? Roas doesn't push the ball forward. Comes out sideways. First killer has to respect the approach, and it gives Roas just enough time to get that reset. Yeah, there's a little window again. Kind of cool but not really hyped in the crowd. And then we have our last clip for today. Race Bull, or as the clip states, Race Goat. The block from Race Bull keeps this at nil-nil. Goalkeeping clutch for both teams. And, then the and dunk. From race so ball. cool to see how, yeah, how well he executes this one. The field, and then the 1v2 solo play to take and the another sign of a awesome production value there. The man on the goal line. Getting the face cams in, little window in the middle of the clip itself. It's kind of cool. And now we need to talk about the big negatives. Obviously, the crowd doesn't bring the biggest hype and there is not a lot of chanting going on. But the worst thing and why the viewership tanks that much is this. It's a page where everyone goes to to see what Rocket League events are going on. It's the Twitter of Rocket League Esports. And we can scroll down here a bit. Thing at the top is a pinned tweet about the World Championship. Then July 13th, something about Moist, something about the analyst desk, something about the London event again. And do you notice something? There is literally not a single post about the biggest LAN in Rocket League. They just don't advertise it at all. If you go to Liquipedia, at least it's on trending. We have a pro who speaks out on what he thinks and it's Alpha Cap. Not really known for his based takes, but I think I agree on this one and it's maybe just me, but this gamers tournament worth a couple million was not marketed correctly at all. This thing should be all over Twitter and promoted by Rocket League. Potential to be one of the most entertaining formats to watch just wild. I agree 100%. It's just sad to see that they don't promote this at all. I have the stats for the A stream and there's also a B stream, but it doesn't differentiate too much. And we see 6.8K average viewers. Okay, it's day one, so not too much happening. But we already saw G2 versus Luminosity, Endpoint versus Rogue, Space Station against Heat, which is also a good match. Guild versus Complexity, like th these are not bad matches. And we're about to see Falcons versus Dignitas, as I said earlier. Like how much more can you do? And peak viewership 11K like this. It's literally nothing for two million prize pool, like come on. And those are basically the things that are holding the tournament back. The production value is a good and a negative thing you saw it in some of the clips that they just that they had like this little window or the crowd reaction instead of the replay which comes down to personal preference i guess it's kind of weird that we see a good goal like the one from who was and then they just show something else instead of the replay that's what i figured is a little bit of the problem and another problem is that i stated in my last video a lot of teams are not attending energy version one moist bds liquid they are all kind of fan favorite teams and that's why not too much of attention is brought there as well yeah guys that was my opinion on why this tournament is struggling so hard to get the recognition it deserves i think especially the format is one of the most exciting things to watch and i could also see this being transferred to rlcs we're gonna see how the viewership develops over the weekend but for now it's kind of disappointing but now let me know in the comments what you think about this tournament and also if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing we're gonna see each other next time